In this lesson, we are going to learn about the Excel Locker uh, in a history view. I will classify them into three categories. The legacy or the old one, which include VLOCKUP, each lockup match and index, and many more. And the modern X lockup and the filter, which is the only spell lockup formula. And if you know how to use X lockup, you don't need any of the legacy. So if you master X lockup, you don't need VLOCKUP, each lockup match and index. Legacy and modern lockup share the same concept. They start with a search value. They search in a table. They can return a result. All the legacy can return only one result, but the modern X lockup can return more than one result. And we have a very important search type. None of legacy or modern lockup can handle duplicated result. If there's a duplication in the result, only the first occurrence will come. The only function in lockup that can handle duplication is filter. Let's start. In this Excel file, we have three sheets, the HR list, match and index, and lookup. I will start by transfer this range into a table. But before doing so, I'm going to move the social security ID to be the most left one. Why I do so? Because we have a problem with VLOCA. VLOCA can only search with the most left column. So if I intend to search with the phone, the phone must be on the left. If I intend to search with the social security ID, it must be on the left. Now, I will create a table based on this range using Control T from the keyboard. So now I have a table named table one that refers to all the staff member in this file. I can rename the table to any other name. I'm going to name it as a staff and hit enter. Now in a new sheet, I'm going to fetch the header of my table, this header, to be a column in this sheet. So I'm going to use my table name, which is staff, using a square practice hash headers. Now we have the header, but in a row. To make it into a column, I will transpose the result. Transpose is a new spell formula. We have transposed before, but it was not a spell formula. Now transpose is a spell formula that can return more than one result. I will create a name to carry all the social security IDs. So I click the first cell, control shift down to select all of them. So regardless of the length of my table, all the IDs selected. Now from the keyboard, I will use control shift F3 to create a name using toggle. Hash sign is not accepted as part of any name in Excel. So when I hit OK, we will create a name only SS. If I go to the name manager, we'll find here one name. SS. Now, in this sheet, I will create a list here with all the staff member ID. So if I select any ID, I need the whole information. To do so, I will use data, data validation. I will allow a list. This list is equal to SS, which is mine. <coughs> now we are going to use VLOCKUP. To return the information, we're going to use XLOCKUP to return the same information. I'm going to use filter to find how XLOCKUP is working a different way than VLOCKUP and how VXLOCKUP solve the problem we have in VLOCKUP. Right now, we said we have the first problem in VLOCKUP, which is we can only search using left column. Okay, so as we said, legacy and model, both of them will start with the information we're going to search with and where to search and what the result will be. So for VLOCKUP equal VLOCKUP, I can see here VLOCKUP requires three information and one optional. I know it is optional because there's a square bracket. 
I'm going to search for the ID in D1 in my table staff. Here is a second problem. To refer to information in VLOOKUP, we need to mention the column number. So I know in my table employee name in the second column. If I hit OK now, I got a wrong result. Because the last information in VLOOKUP is required if you need to do exact match. Exact match is false. So we use zero to tell VLOOKUP to try to find exactly this number in my search list. So as you can see here, this ID is for Hector. If I go here, yes, it is. Now, if I need to do the same, I need to replicate the formula, but I need to absolute the search, which is D1, and I need to change the two. So if I need the ID here, I'm supposed to use one, not two. So I'm going to use one. So now I have the same ID. Search type is optional for VLOOKUP, which is the last information, the range lookup, but it is required for me as a user. So VLOOKUP actually has three rules. The first one, it can only search using the most left column. The second, VLOOKUP requires column index, which means you have to go back to the table and count two, three, four. And if you change the column location for any reason, the result will be a mistake. And the third one, you need to identify the exact search using zero. You have to. If you don't identify the search type, you'll get the wrong result. If I remove the zero from here, this number is totally different. I'm searching for 914, but I got 183 as a result, which is totally wrong. We, we will know later what does it mean to do uh, approximate but in this scenario we need it to be exact so if I need to repeat this one I need to absolute D1 um, so I'm going to lose F4 from the keyboard and I need to change the one to two to three and so on so I'm going to use a function to do so I'm going to use row row return any number in the bracket so I'm going to use A1 so now I can drag and I'll get the whole information yes we did it in easy way but I still type many VLOOKUP statement. If I have 14 information, I type 14 statement to get the result. Doing XLOOKUP, I can return the whole information in just one click, just one formula. Because XLOOKUP is a spell formula, but it cannot handle duplicated result. So I'm going to XLOOKUP my value, as you said, legacy and modern both start with the search value here we don't have to refer to the whole table we can refer to only one column in my table so i'm going to search in table stuff in social security to refer to a part of your table you have to over the square brackets okay so now take this id search in the ID, social security ID in the table of staff, and return information from table staff. Now, if you refer to one column, it means you need only one information. If you refer to the whole table, it means you return the whole information. And the most advanced modifications of Microsoft due to the X lookup, if I miss this one, which is a match mode, it will be automatically be exact. So if I stop here, of course, I get an error now. This error is called spell. Um, it has the result, but there's no place for the result. So I'm going, so if we remove this, you can see we have the exact same information, but in a row, we need them in a column. So I'm going to transpose the result of XLOOK. So if you transpose the result, it will come in a column. So we use only one function to retain the whole information related to any staff member, and we solve all the problem from VLOOKUP. Both legacy, VLOOKUP, each lookup match and index, and modern cannot handle the application. So if we have two staff members by mistake with the same ID, this ID is repeated here. So we have two staff members with the same ID, as you can see here. Neither VLOOKUP 
nor its local can handle this. Why filter can? Filter is a different in order. In VLOCAL and XLOCAL, we start with the search value. In filter, we are going to start with the whole table. So I'm going to filter my table staff. Filter doesn't include a search criteria. Filter will include a search condition. My condition is to check the table staff, to check the ID, if it is equal to this one. So if we have two, we have two results. And again, if I need them in a column instead in a row, I can transpose the result of filter. I know it is a little bit quick, but if you know how VLOOKUP is working, you will understand XLOOKUP in an easy way. And to be honest, if you know how to use XLOOKUP, you don't need VLOOKUP. Okay, now what about match and index? Before we have a problem in VLOOKUP, um, if I need to search using the phone, as we said, we need to move it to the left. What if I need to search using the phone without moving the phone column to the left? In this case, we need to use match and index. In plain English, match return a position based on a value. So if I ask match to match 451 in this range, result will be 3, which means it is in third position. If I match here, that will be 4. If I match here, that will be 1. So just a position. Index, do the opposite. Index, return value based on position. So if I ask index, what is 3 here? So it will be 5, 2, 7. Match can take only one information, row or a column. So I cannot match this number here, for example. It can match this way or that way. While index can match in both way. So if I index this one, if I need this value, I need to index the row number, so which is 1, 2, 3, column 2. So if I index here, uh, let's say 3, 5, it means go to row number 3, 1, 2, 3, bring the 5 information, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the result will be 6, 6, 8. Okay, how to use match and index to search using any column? Let's say... Uh, again, I'm going to create a name using the phone, so control shift F3 to browse. So now we have a list here, let's say here, with all the phone. So data, data validation, allow list, equal phone. Now, if, if I need to VLOOKUP, I'm going to delete all the function here. If I need to VLOOKUP using the phone, I cannot, because phone is not the most left column. But I can use match and index. How? If I need, let's say, the name, it means I need the information from column number two. If I search for this phone, it means row number eight, column number two. So the result of match the phone will give me the row number. Let's try. So if I index in my table, I don't know which row, but I know if I match the telephone number in the phone list, I can get the row number. And this match must be a unique one, exact match. Which column? Okay, I need the social security ID, so I need the first column. So, if I repeat it, I need to absolute F4, F1, sorry, I need to absolute this one, so function F4. And I need to change the 1 to 2, 3 to return information from second column, so I'm going to use row with A1. 
So he, this phone number is related to Hector. Let's try. 5051. Yes, it is Hector. You can find it here. So we use match and index to fix an error in VLOOKUP. So we can search using any column. We can also use match and index to find the intersection. Let's say we have any man's name in any state, and I need to find how much we do uh, for Texas in April. So I can index here. I, I don't know which row, but I know if I match uh, the month's name in uh, the month's list with exact, it will give me the row number. I don't know which column, but I know if I match um, the state name in the state list again with zero for exact match. Now, if I index the result of this match and that match in the whole number, I got the correct answer. So let's try uh, April, Texas. Yes, correct. If I try uh, Florida, we get also the correct answer if I try May so sorry May so May in Florida is correct but we don't need if you know how to use xlookup you don't need so I'm going to xlookup using this phone so please uh, xlookup please xlookup this phone go to the table staff inside the phone and give me any information you find in the table. That's it. And of course, you need to transpose if you need the result in a different direction. So, if you know how to do XLOOKUP, you don't need VLOOKUP, you don't need match and index. And of course, now you understand how to use filter. Okay, uh, we said we have to identify that we're doing uh, an exact match. Do we need a scenario that we need to do an approximate match? Yes, like this one. Uh, I need to find the rating based on the grade. If I try any function, if I try VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP, I try to find this value in this table, uh, getting the information from column number two, which is the rate. If I try exact match, of course, I get an error because there is no 76 here. But if I try approximate match, I got the correct result. Yeah, this one is very good. Of course, if I need to drag, I have to absolute my search table. So VLOOKUP with uh, approximate match means less than or equal to. So if there is no equal result, VLOOKUP with approximate match will go to the less than value. This is why this range must be arranged in ascending order. <coughs> we can do enhanced filter. So let's create a new sheet. Let's bring the uh, table header here. So staff, square brackets, hash, header. Let's say uh, we need to find anyone uh, who's working in, um, in the West building. So, if you just type only one formula to filter uh, the whole table, trying to find in the table stuff if the building is equal to West. Now, the result is the whole information from the table where the people is working in the West building. Okay, but how to include two information? Let's say you need people from West building department ADC. To apply more than one condition, uh, we have AND and OR. But the problem in filter, we don't have AND and OR. In filter, we have asterisk and plus. We use plus for AND and we use asterisk for OR. So if I need to apply two conditions, I have to close the first condition. So I close it. Then I need, um, I need AND, so it is plus now i open a new brackets i add the other uh, condition which is the staff uh, department is equal to adc then i have to close the other condition 
then I have to close the filter. Uh, sorry, uh, plus is for or while asterisk is for add. So this one is plus, and this one is the asterisk. So if I need and I have to use asterisk, not plus. Okay, so now we have all the people working in the EDC West building. We, we only have one problem. If you have more than one condition, you cannot apply only one of them. We'll have the calculation here. No one is wo working in the main building EDC, but if we try main building admin training, for example, we will get some result. Of course, you can use if statement to tell the filter uh, if there's only one information to apply only one condition, but it will take time if I do it now. So maybe in another video. Uh, thank you.